For this portion of the texture assignment, you're going to be working with text and exploring how you can modify the way you set text to create different densities and textures. If you remember from the lecture, we talked about that sometimes when you set text, it can actually create a texture on its own. And this assignment is all about exploring text as texture. So here I have the Adobe Illustrator template open. And you'll notice that there's three artboards here. We will be doing three compositions in total. So there's one for each of those for you. When you export this, each of these will be a different page, which will cover the three compositions that you have to make. First thing I'm going to do is save the file. Just so I have it. And then I can save and I won't save on top of the beginning template. The other thing is there is source text specific to this assignment. So if you go into the learning management system where you found this template, you'll also find the texture source text. And that's specific text that you will use for everything on this assignment. It's kind of playful text that has to do with words and typesetting. So I'm gonna go ahead and select all of this and I'm gonna to go to edit, copy, that way I have it and can paste it into Illustrator. I'm gonna make a text box big one. I'm going to paste that in and now I have that text. We're going to need five. Every single one of these compositions will need five text boxes that we'll use. So I'm going to also make five of them for myself so that I have them and I can start playing with the arrangement. So there's one. I'll use that option trick. I'm holding down option. I get the double arrow. I'm going to click and drag to duplicate. I'm going to select both of these and click and drag. That way I have four. So now all I need is just one more. So now I have five of these. The other thing is you have to use the justified settings of text, which normally are very uncommon to use. We sometimes use them, but what they're going to do is going to space the words out, which is going to help create more interesting textures. So I'm going to highlight one of these and you can use any of the justified settings. So if you look over here at the paragraph palette, you can also bring this up by going to window, type, and then paragraph. You'll see that you get these different settings. So we have align left, align center, align right, and then the last four are the justified settings. You can use any of these you want. You can mix them, you can use all the same, it doesn't matter, but you just wanna be using these justified settings. I'm just gonna go ahead and use the justified with last line aligned left. I maybe should have done this before, I duplicated the text boxes, but that's okay. I'm going to mix them up too and use some different ones. It might make it more interesting. All right. Now the other part of the challenge is to change the way that these text boxes look so that they have different densities and different styles of texture. So there's different ways to accomplish that. One will be through size. So we can change the size of the text and the bigger the letters are, the more you're going to be able to see them and the texture will feel different. So that's one thing you can do. You obviously can also play with changing the font. So different fonts are going to have different textures to them. You can even see that as you scroll over and start looking at them. Obviously, bolder typefaces like this are going to feel more dense and more heavy than lighter typefaces. So that's another thing that you can change. You can use any typefaces you want and as many typefaces as you want, as long as every box is just one typeface. Another thing you can play with is you can play with the tracking. So if you come into the character palette, you'll see that there's some tracking here. So right now it's set to zero, but if I make this negative 100, you'll notice if I zoom in that the letters are starting to crash together. Let's make it even more exaggerated. Let's do negative 500. Whoops, maybe that was too much. Let's try negative 300. So you'll notice that it's getting more dense because the letters are starting to layer on top of each other. So tracking can be an interesting thing to play with. You can also loosen the tracking by instead of having a negative number, having a positive number, and it's gonna space the letters out more, which is also gonna create a more looser look. Another thing you can play with is the letting itself. So letting is the space between lines of text. So we can change this value in the character palette and also change the density or the overall texture of this. So by going with a smaller letting value, they'll actually start to crash together. The lines of text will actually start to lay on top of each other where if we put a much higher letting value, they're gonna space out and there's gonna be, again, a more looser texture overall. 
So those are the different aspects that you can play with to change the density and the texture of these text blocks. So you can play with the typeface, play with the letting, the tracking, and those will create different feelings to the text and different textures that you're gonna play with. So I'm gonna quickly make some different textures for myself and then I'll look at how we're gonna arrange these. So you should have a lot of typefaces on your computer, but obviously you can also find those through Adobe fonts. Through your subscription, you have access to all of those typefaces, so that's something else that you have access to. But I'm just gonna play with creating, again, different densities here is really what I'm after. Let's make one more that's a little on the lighter side. So let's find something that's more light. Maybe this one's good. I'm gonna go with the thin weight. So I'm also using the shortcuts. I talked about this in another video, but if you hold down shift command and then comma and period, period will make the words larger, comma will make them smaller. Also, if you hold down option and then use the right and left arrow keys, it will change the tracking value. And then if you press up and down while holding option, it will change the letting values. So if you wanna do this a little quicker and play with some shortcuts, that can be fun too. So I think that's about right. I have some different ones here. I have some that are a little lighter and airier, some that are a little bit more dense. So now it's about playing with them in the actual composition itself. So you can change the size of these text boxes and start layering them in there. Maybe some of these are too big. I might need to shrink some of them down pretty drastically to make these work, but all right. So remember, it's not about readability, it's not about legibility, it's just looking at how you can play with typography to create texture, to really create something that has a textural component to it using words. So I'm liking how this is looking. I feel like I need another dense one. Let's go really small with this one. And it's okay if all the text isn't shown, it's fine if it is not all there, that's not a big deal, you just wanna make sure that you are using the text that was provided to you. And I think on this one, I'm just gonna do a little layering, a little bit of it, just maybe right here. So you're seeing how I'm creating different densities, creating different textures. It's fun to play with some of them being more light and airy, maybe some of them being more dense. You can even play with white on top. Maybe you create all of this dense typography and then you set white text on top. You absolutely can do that too. I'll try to kind of illustrate that quickly. You could do something like this, where that white text is knocking out. Maybe we even go more dense with this. See if we can get it to almost just become a black blob. See, that can be kind of fun. That's absolutely fair game as well. So anything like that will work. I'm gonna go back. I liked it a little bit better before, but you are welcome to play with color like that. So I kind of like this one. I think it's working. I think it's interesting what I've done. I now wanna use the mask technique, which is something that we looked at on the very first assignment. I wanna mask all of this inside the composition. Most likely that's gonna be something that you're gonna to need to play with. So the first step will be to select all of these text boxes and group them together. So Command G or Object Group, they're grouped. If you remember, I need to now take the frame and duplicate it and put it on top. So I'm gonna do a copy and a paste and then just for fair measure, I'm gonna select it again and do object, arrange, bring to front. Then I'm gonna hold down shift and select those grouped text boxes. And then I'm gonna do command seven, which is the shortcut for mask. So now I have everything in there. Remember that you can always click into the mask. If you double click and then click again, you can click into that group and kind of move things around inside the mask. You can even change the typeface if you want to. So it's good to have things more or less where you want them before you mask, but remember you can also kind of make some adjustments if that's something that you want to do inside the mask. And then you just click outside twice and it'll go back inside. So you're going to be doing this three times. So that's one of them. I'm not going to go through it all three times, but you'll do it two more times on these other artboards. 
and then you're ready to export the file. Once you have it all completed, you like the way it looks, you'll go to File and Save As. You'll say PDF, navigate to where you want the file to be saved, you'll click Save, and then go ahead and just use the Illustrator default settings. And that will create a document that has three pages that then you can upload for grading on the learning management system. So hopefully that helps you through the software on this assignment. As always, your instructor is available to answer any questions you might have. And I hope you have fun creating texture with typography.